Good afternoon, traders. Welcome to the Blue Line Metals Edge here for Wednesday, January 11th. I'm Philip Strebel, Chief Market Strategist at Blue Line Futures. Remember, if you need additional information, check out our website, bluelinefutures.com. We've got a lot of great information on there. Also, be sure to go to the research, sign up for a free two-week trial. All you do is put in your basic contact information, select what reports you like. One of the ones that I always go to, especially if you're a metals, energies kind of person, go to the Tactical Insights, select the Morning Express, Put in your basic information here and we'll get that out to you. You check out a free two-week trial. See if it improves your trading here. And let us give us some feedback. If there's uh, additional markets that you'd like us to provide some more research on, we'd love to do that here. Our team is building. Our team is expanding. So we got a lot of great resources we can, we can share and deploy. Now looking at the markets here today, not much economic data coming out whatsoever today. Really, it's tomorrow and the CPI data. But one big uh, standout here. 19 million barrel build on the crude oil. Normal conditions, that would crush that market. Um, however, if you look at that daily chart here, we can see this pop-up around right here. Now, it did not take us out of this downward trend that we're in, but if you surely go to a five-minute chart, boy, it does look interesting on the charts here. So a lot of optimism, a lot of spillover on U.S. equities today with some follow-through strength. Um, and then you kind of got this extension upward, and it's been kind of traveling all day here higher. And it could be something something fishy with that big big number, whether it's like an SPR release, whether it's um, them buying oil off the market. But definitely got markets moving higher here and uh, with a big build. Now looking at some of these other markets, a little bit of concern here with the silver market at the moment. We had this real nice uptrend since we dipped, you know, in that 17s and into the 18s, and we broke out to the upside. This November 4th was really the pull that you wanted to get long on, and that was when, if you look at the tactical insights, it actually put out that recommendation to buy on the settlement at $20.90. It's trailing that stop right now, 23.22. Now getting back over here, that's going to be right around this area. So if you see it break through this area, you will see tactical insights will go to a neutral. Wait to see if it's going to start a new downtrend or is it just ping-ponging back and forth on some of these volatilities. It'll most likely re-enter on a breakout to the upside right here. And, you know, you're going to have to stay tuned and see what happens tomorrow. Now, getting into a couple other markets, gold, real nice, strong uptrend. I think we're getting a little exhausted on the upside. People are saying that it's short-term overbought technically. It's watching the dollar. And it's that CPI report comes out softer. I think we will hit that $1,900 on that February front month contract. And it's going to really give that outlook on Fed policy going forward. We continue to see the softness in CPI. Fed's going to get a little bit less hawkish. That's what those markets are pricing in right now. Here's your big standout, the copper market. Broke out from this sideways channel, busted out to the upside. Unfortunately, silver's not paying attention to it. Usually there's a strong correlation between the two, but it's not happening right now. And a lot of it is specifically China relaxing those COVID restrictions, increasing some of the stimulus measures, making some additional accommodative measures for people to get involved with real estate, cars, building, things like that. So that's your upward trajectory right here. Now, I don't think we go all the way back up and retest some of these COVID highs because we're not going to get that much stimulus, but it is definitely um, something to point out on the charts. Now, platinum failing here today, I think we could come back down and test this 1055 level. Um, you look at how the system is playing, it's going to be uh, coming close here where the sell triggers 1018, it's long at 1065. I think it retests this 1065 level before this is done. So look for this sideways action kind of bouncing back and forth. What we really want to see is it, the gold or the silver and platinum replicate some chart pattern like this where you get that breakout to the upside. So you see the sideways build and we break out to the upside. Same thing on silver, sideways build, break out some catalysts to the upside. Now looking at everything else, you go back up to uh, the gold market here, doing a fine job, got long on that November 8th breakout. You look at the chart, that November 8th was, um, actually it was this one right here. This breakout to the upside started this upward trend. So 
The sell stop right now, 1835.30, that's going to continue to come up as prices go up. And you'll want to trail that stop. So if you need anything risk management wise, you know, you can always use, this is a basic, um, a basic technical analysis to a pivot point strategy to ratchet up those stops as the price goes up. So you can see 1860, 70, and then you get into, um, you know, some of the other markets, they're still showing a short recommendation on everything. They're still bearish on all the equity indices. However, if we get much of an extension tomorrow, it might take all these back to neutral. If you have any questions, futures option trading, also be sure to go to youtube.com, look up Blue Line Futures, put some comments down on some of our videos. Be sure to subscribe and register for those. You'll get notification when we do put out new videos like this one uh, as well. Again, if you have any questions, futures option Option trading, you want to see this tactical insights um, email in your email box every day, give me a call 312 858 7303. Remember, futures and option trading does involve risk of loss, may not be suitable to all investors. Good luck, good trading.